Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to talk about Julian Brown because it's very important that we talk about these sort of things because they're not going to talk about it in mainstream media. I'm telling you right now, they're not going to talk about it until there's enough uh, public outcry. Then they will pick it up and start talking about it. But there's a very good reason why they never these mainstream media doesn't lead the charge in cases like this. So, first of all, Julian Brown was a 20 year old, 21 year old inventor, genius, prodigy, 21 year old inventor from Atlanta who created the, uh, he invented plastiline. It's a solar powered microwave assisted pyrolysis reactor capable of turning everyday plastic into clean burning fuel. And, you know, why this case is interesting is because he went missing and, you know, mainstream media is not talking about this. The reason why he went missing, many suspect, is because his invention threatened the fossil, the fuel, the oil industry. And we all know ha what happens when that happens. And the added issue is that this is another one of many black inventors that go missing. It happens all the time. You know, things don't change. They just evolve. They've been doing this for hundreds of years and we're getting to the point in society where we're done with this, you know, the psychotic demonic swine that's in power right now. They think they're going to still do the things that they usually do. And they don't want to accept that their world is over. We're not doing this anymore. This is one of many black inventors that go missing from here all over the diaspora to Africa. They, they do this right in our face. Um, this is going to end. So let me just explain how this works. It doesn't matter what race you are. If you make an invention, if you invent something that changes industry, they will off you. They will find you and they will figure something out to off you because they don't want you messing with profits. So there are many people, white and black and whomever, who've invented things and went missing. Because if you're, like I said, if your invention threatens an industry, they're coming for you. Um, the added thing when you're black is they they will off you for that same thing that they do with white inventors. But if your invention either ch changes in industry or threatens an industry or it's just a industry or a business or a, a thing that you invented that is going to generate a lot of money, they will off you because what they do to the black inventors, they, they want to unalive them so that they, they can steal their invention and uh, take ownership of the patent. They've been doing that for hundreds of years. Like Eli Whitney did not invent the cotton gin. He didn't know what the hell to do with anything like with involving cotton. He wasn't out there picking cotton. A slave invented the cotton gin. He observed what the slave invented and, you know, created the patent. And in the history books, they tell us Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin when no, he didn't. Um, Thomas Edison took credit for many inventions that black slaves or former slaves made like Lewis Latimer, Latimer. And they tell us that Edison invented the light bulb. No, no, he didn't. Brilliant man. He's a genius, but he didn't invent like half the things that they told us that he did. Um, so they still do this right in our face in present day. There's many Africans that, um, uh, you know, there's one that comes to mind. There was a few that came to mind where, you know, they think they made it. You know, there's a young Af African genius that invents something. And then the first thing they do is they go run into the West. They need to stop doing that. Over and over and over again, you see the same thing. Young black scientist or inventor invents something, then boom, turns up missing or dead under mysterious circumstances. There's lots of stories coming out of Africa about that that get buried. And right here in these United States, Atlanta, they did it right in your face. Again, they do this all the time. So once again, let me just explain why they do this. It's control. It's control of an industry. And they're trying to maintain power and profit over certain in, in, in certain industries. So an invention that threatens that, regardless of race, you're gone. In addition to that, if you are black and you, they don't want black, you know, Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos coming out of the woodworks. They want to control 
the status quo and they don't want black billionaires coming out of the woodworks having gener- generational wealth. So it becomes a status quo thing that they're protecting and they don't want that to change. So they off you. Now, there's some ruthless behavior that I condone. I don't condone. But there's ruthless behavior, like I've read the laws of power, there's ruthless behavior that I accept because in order to be successful, in order to control, in order to do certain things, I understand the masculine energy and the need to be ruthless when it comes to certain things and, you know, to control and to do things the way you want to do it. I get it. I get that most of your liberal friends, they're not going to be, and they're not going to agree with that. But, you know, a man in their masculine energy, understanding that somebody has to captain the ship, there's things that you do. But this is way beyond that. They are disgusting reptilian swine, demonic life, subhuman, without light, doing things that go beyond corporate ruthlessness. We're talking about satanic stuff now where they're unaliving people um, simply because of the race they are. That's beyond the corporate ruthlessness to be out front. And, you know, this is going on too long. This is the reason why Shawnee's on Staten Island is going viral. And she's an amazing woman with an amazing story. And she's going viral. Because her restaurant is getting all these accolades and the other restaurants in Staten Island are are like, what is going on? Why is everybody coming over to her and not these Mediterranean restaurants, these Italian restaurants that have been around for a long time? How come this, you know, woman is getting all this attention and she's telling you because it's the ancestors, because they've been blocking black excellence for centuries and now no more, no more. And she's blowing up. She was just on a couple of shows and podcasts, and she's talking about the history, that Island history that we've never heard uh, about, you know, you know, being a, one of the first freed black people that bought property and tried to start businesses and they burned the businesses. They burned things down. There was an oyster business that, you know, was booming black owned. So what they did, the psychotic swine, they poisoned the water. They poisoned the water and then it didn't stop the momentum because it just because they're poisoning of the water. These are demonic, sick, twisted swine we're talking about to destroy the earth just to get black people down, keep them out. The business went in a different direction and then it eventually went into strawberries because what they did to the land made it able for strawberries. So they kept going and kept going. And she has a lot of history to tell and she is in touch with her ancestors and they're guiding her career so she's a good story to to watch but back to julian brown why this is important is because and there was many different races talking about it none of the mainstream media but many different um races and it's a beautiful thing to see a mosaic of people sick and fed up of this system. And, you know, I saw some people, cause before I talk about something, I want to see, is anybody, nobody else seeing this? There's some people that are, and there are talking about it. And it's not just black people. It's, it's people who want to fight the matrix. And if you are awakened, you know that this cannot continue this system, what they do in our faces. Does it matter if it's a black person they pick, they attack this one this day or a white person they attack this day this thing that they do or think that they're able to do that violates universal law that violates and goes against source creator these things that are satanic need to stop and we need to live it in a world where they're gone and they know it and what they're preventing is our freedom. There's inventions and people who are inspired to create things that will change the world to make a better life for us. And they don't want that. They want us dependent on things that deplete the earth of its resources. They want us to continue to do these things and do these things for their profit 
so that we are enslaved to this system. So they're stopping excellence. They're stopping black excellence. They're stopping, um, you know, all across the board, anyone who is divinely inspired to create something that makes the world a better place. And it is high time that we say enough. This case is not the first and we need to help it become the last. So keep your eyes and ears for what happens with the story. But unfortunately, this young man is missing and he's of a long line of missing scientists and inventors who went against the matrix and threatened the status quo. So for now, guys, I'll see you in the next one.